tell you some statistics. More than 120,000 people in the United States are in need of organ transplant. The medium wait time for kidney transplant is 3.6 years. More than 20,000 transplants happen each year, out of which only 5,000 are from live donors. 13 people die each day from needing organ transplant. Now, is there a way to increase the number of human live donors? For instance, let us take a husband who wants to donate a kidney to his ailing wife. So, the husband wants to donate his kidney to his ailing wife. However, tests show that they are incompatible. Now, is there a way to match this couple to another incompatible couple? Through this, more matching pairs and more human live donors can be increased. Now, here comes the magic algorithm to our rescue. It is called the stable marriage problem. Elegant yet powerful, the inventors Gale and Shapley now have a Nobel Prize to their name. It is actually very simple. It, this it stable marriage problem matches two it, equally sized sets of groups and creates a stable match for each set. It is called an unstable match when two sets do not want to be together and want to be with someone else from different group. Now, are you confused? Elementary, right? Well, let me simplify it by showing it to you in the form of a demonstration. Let me tell you about the steps. In this case, let us take men and women. Step one, each man proposes to his best choice in women. Step two, each woman accepts their best choice but rejects the rest. Step three, each non-engaged man proposes to their next best choice in the women. Step four, the women accept their best choices and this may also involve breaking off previous engagements. Step five, keep repeating the process until every step, until every other step pairs off. And there, you've got your algorithm. Now let me show you a demonstration. Here we have four kings and four queens. The problem statement is that the king should be matched to the queen such that a stable match is made. Here, this is the order of preference. The king of diamonds prefers the queen of clubs, then the queen of spades, the queen of hearts, and finally the queen of diamonds. Similarly, over here, this is the queen of diamonds order of preference. These are placed as markers to show throughout the procedure. Now let us start. The king of diamonds prefers the queen of clubs, so he proposes to the queen of clubs. The king of hearts proposes to the queen of spades. The king of spades proposes to the queen of diamonds and the king of clubs proposes to the queen of diamonds as well. Here, as we can see, the queen of diamonds prefers the king of clubs over the king of spades, so he gets rejected and one stable match is made. Here, the queen of spades does not approve of the king of hearts, so he gets rejected. The king of diamonds is not one of the king, queen of clubs top choices, so he also gets rejected. And now one round is over. As we can see, one stable match is made, and that is the Queen of Diamond and the King of Clubs. So now the Queen of Diamonds is no longer available. And over here, the King of Clubs is no longer available as well. Now, in the next round, the King of Diamonds proposes to the Queen of Spades. The queen, uh, King of Hearts proposes to the king, Queen of Clubs. And the King of Spades proposes to the Queen of Clubs as well. As we can see, the Queen of Clubs prefers the King of Spades over the King of Hearts. So he, she rejects the King of Hearts. The Queen of Spades does not approve of the King of Diamonds as well and he gets rejected too. And now with round 2 over, one more stable match is made. The Queen of Clubs is no longer available and over here, the King of Spades is no longer available. Now, in the next round, the King of Diamonds proposes to the Queen of Hearts and the King of Hearts proposes to the Queen of Hearts as well. As we can see, the Queen of Hearts prefers the King of Hearts over the King of Diamonds, so he gets rejected. And now, in the third round, one more stable match is made and now the Queen of Hearts is no longer available. And over here, the King of Hearts is no longer available. 
Now in the final round, the king of diamonds ha has no choice but to go for the queen of spades and the queen of spades has no choice but to accept the king of diamonds and hence all stable matches are made. Let me show you some code. This is the Gale Shapley algorithm in JavaScript. It will be easier for me to explain the workings of it via the pseudocode, so I will just do that. As you can see, I have initialized all the kings to one group and all the queens to one group. So if there is a king who is not engaged to any queen and Q is the king's top preference who the king has not yet proposed to, then if the queen is not engaged to anyone, the king and the queen become engaged. However, if another pair already exists, but the queen prefers this king to k dash, the older king, then she breaks off the engagement with k dash and k and q become engaged. However, if she is happy with the current engagement, then they remain engaged. This process repeats until each pair are matched together in a stable arrangement. And there you have it, the stable marriage problem.